G'day guys, Bloke LP here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Rocat Vulcan 120 AMO uh, RGB mechanical gaming keyboard. I uh, got this a couple of days ago for my birthday. Um, got this along with the uh, Leader wireless uh, mouse by Rocat as well. I uh, got both of them for my birthday. Uh, I've held off a couple of days to do these unboxing videos so I can open them up and show you guys before I use them. Um, it's been hard to leave them in the box because I've been wanting to pull them out and have a play, as you can imagine. So, very nice keyboard. It comes with this aluminium finish um, on the top of it. Really high risen keys. Um, there are only half caps on them, which is meant to do with the response time. It's meant to have 20% uh, faster response time. And these half caps are meant to allow it to return back to its position quicker, you know, allowing quicker response times, obviously. A uh, quick look at the back. Um, they have the Titan switches in them from Rocat. Uh, it's got all these uh, RGB lighting in it, which looks quite nice. Um, 1.8 meter action points, uh, brown tactical keys, removable um, palm rests, which goes along the front here. Uh, integrated macros and setting for the memory. Um, six programmer macro keys, Rocrat Easy Shift E key, which is this one down here, which my mouse also has, so I'm wondering whether they're compatible uh, with each other. 32-bit um, ARM Cortex MO base processor, 1000 hertz polling rate, uh, also use it with the Rocat Swarm software, just like the mouse. Uh, it comes with a braided 1.8 meter cable. Uh, it's uh, 1150 gram in weight. So um, there's our dimensions over the side here. I don't know if you can see them. Uh, yeah, quite nice. Looks very sweet. Just can't wait to get out of the box for a bit of a look. Let's open them up here. I've already cut the tape. Let's flip the lid. So straight off the bat, we've got this in here, which is uh, your hand rest. Pull them out of the plastic. So hand rest, a little sticker on the side here, peel that off, if I get my finger under it, yeah. um, to be honest this feels a bit flimsy, I think for the price it probably could have come with um, an aluminium rest, you know, much like on the top of the keyboard, uh, just to give it that little bit more value to it, it does feel a little bit flimsy, a little bit flexible you know, for what it is, but should do the trick. Uh, it's magnetic, which will attach to the front of the keyboard. I'll show you that here in a second. I'll sit that there. The keyboard out of here. Keyboard. Um, also on the box, I'll just sit that there. Also on the box comes with these instructions. A couple of Rocat stickers. Few instructions and stuff, quick start guide, we don't really need that, so we'll get rid of that. <laughs> Fell on the floor, I think that's it in the box, yep. Like it, alright, get rid of the box, out of the way here. Get rid of that, we'll see that there somewhere. So here's our keyboard. We'll pull him out of the plastic, the other side here. It's a nice braided cable as well. I don't mind the braided cables on the keyboards uh, and other other things. I'm not a real big fan of braided cables on, on a mouse though. But uh, into a docking station is fine, much like what the Rocat Leader has. It should be fine, but when it comes time to using that actually in the mouse, I don't think I'd be too big of a fan of that. But I'm get rid of that plastic. Okay, here's the here's the back of the mouse uh, the keyboard. So it's got these legs here that flick up, lift it up, there he is, and that just magnetics to the front of it, as you can see, well, let's get rid of this bit of plastic on here, so, I know that's a very satisfying sound, so, do that, yeah, that's it, put it away from the back of it, so yeah, they're just magnetics to it, so you can see that. It's 
those attached. Very nice keyboard, very nice looking. Um, I'll do some stills with this, much like what I did with the mouse as well. Once I plug it into the PC, we'll, we'll get some uh, photos or a couple little videos of it all lit up, the lighting and that. But they're very nice feeling keys. They feel like they do come up fairly quick. So there's some macro keys over here. One to six macro keys. It's an easy shift key. Sorry, that one there. They feel very nice. I don't know if you can hear that. So I don't know what the mic's like on my phone, whether you can hear the sound or not. But yeah. Um, it's got the gaming mode on it, so you flick this one here, disables your Windows key for when you're playing your games. Just click him again, re-enables it. But then yeah, you've got your easy shift key here, so then you can use your programmable macros here. I'm really hoping I can uh, use these with my uh, mouse as well. It's got the easy shift key on the side of it. Um, where is the mouse sitting here somewhere? It's got an easy shift key just here. So I'm hoping I might be able to use that in correspondence with these buttons here. Maybe we'll see. Uh, let's put it back over there. So yeah, all in all, so it's got the volume, volume control. So you've got different settings up here. So you got your mute, unmute uh, for any music you got going or whatever you want to program it for. Then you got your FX button, so if that's selected and you dial this button here, it will uh, brighten and unbrighten the um, RGB lighting across the keyboard. And then when it's on the last one, these will light up as you've got them selected. This one here will allow you then to adjust your volumes and stuff, whether it's on your music or YouTube or whatever you're doing. So yeah, so that's the uh, the uh, Rocat Vulcan 120 AMO. RGB mechanical gaming keyboard. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll, uh, like I said, I'll add some uh, little video uh, videos or some pictures in amongst this video of it all lit up, and once I plugged it in the PC, so you can see all that. Alright guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you did so, please uh, smash that thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, give us a thumbs down. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and I'll catch us all later. Bye for now.